Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and finally we are here with Sade Sati again. I have not spoken much on Sade Sati except on a webinar with the Astro Vedic Enthusiast Group. That too, it's long, long, long time back. So just recently, somebody told me that his Sade Sati is going to start, which means now when Saturn will move into the sign of Capricorn, so either from his moon sign, Saturn will be on 12th or over his moon or second from moon. But then his Sade Sati is already going on. So when he says it's going to start, that means his moon is in the sign of Aquarius. All right, so for Aquarius, the Sade Sati is starting, and for Scorpio, the Sade Sati is getting over now from 25th January 2020. And for Capricorn, it's the peak phase, and for Sagittarius, it is the last phase. So Today we shall discuss how to prepare for your, my, everybody, Sade Sati. <laughs> okay, so Sade Sati is much feared in uh, the astrology community for no reason. I don't know why. I mean, there is no quote in any of the uh, traditional Vedic scriptures which dread this placement there is no such quote there is no shloka like this but i don't know from where this has come but either ways what is is now people fear sarasati for multiple reasons they think that their life will be finished they will be ruined they will be destroyed well first whenever you want to make any judgment on any astrological transit the first thing that you should not do is to see the transit yes first you should look at the horoscope three stages i made a video on uh, six steps to analyze a transit you could watch that recently i made but even before analyzing transits you have to analyze the horoscope first your birth horoscope not not, not the transit chart Nothing can override the birth horoscope. For example, if marriage is denied for somebody, no amount of transits can get you married. And the other is also true, the other way around. If you are destined to get married, if the chart is promising marriage, no amount of transit which happens in the sixth house can leave you single or unmarried. It can't happen because the chart is promising that. All right, the chart means the horoscope with which you were born, the placements, the lords, and the planets that are sitting, and most importantly, the yogas that the chart is forming. And then you check the Navamsha, then you check the Ashtagvarga. Also, that is the first step analyze the chart. All right, then the second step, which is unfortunately given the least importance and which holds 99% of the seal. What is that? That is dashas. Dashas in Vedic astrology. And it's so surprising that uh, sometimes people are so much used to these transits that they, uh, when I say, uh, like when I make these transit videos and I say the dashas will decide, then I'm shocked to see so many people. They ask me, sir, what is this dasha? Can you please tell me? I've never heard of this. Look at the predicament. People are not aware of dashas. Very bad. <laughs> and I'm not blaming or insulting or criticizing anybody. But what I'm trying to say is, this is why we get the predictions wrong. Because the third stage is transits. Okay. And very soon, I am going to start the series of dashas, mahadashas, antardashas, pratyantardashas for every planet and what they mean for our different ascendants, all right? And 
that is vimshotri dasha but there are chara dasha systems there is uh, so many different types of dasha systems you know there is naisargik dasha and multiple streams of astrology have different dashas all right so once you look at your chart and then you look at your dashas now you come to this transit all right and sade sati is nothing but just another transit of saturn that's it thank you very much bye bye <laughs> yes that's it that's what sade sati is but always remember sade sati holds a very special place because it is the transit of saturn not because saturn is a malefic or he shows suffering no not because of that which definitely is in one way but that's not the main reason why i say this the main reason is sade sati is uh, in my opinion the only transit for which we should prepare ourselves okay not because we are going to die or we will have a divorce or we'll be fired from job no, not because of that you know not because of some some filthy disgusting stuff of this material world not because of that it is because saturn is the slowest moving planet in vedic astrology so therefore where he is transiting can show us which area do we need to focus for the next 3 years which area are we going to feel as if that area has halted as if that area is not moving but why is something not moving do you ever think why is something very slow because you have not put effort in your previous lifetimes wherever saturn is sitting you have you have had escapism in that area yes escaping running away oh, oh my god this is, i won't deal with this that is why in this life it's like imagine a student who has not studied he has failed in one exam and then what happens the examiner comes and says now you have another week to study if you don't study now you will be thrown out of the college and if you don't pass provided <laughs> so then imagine the situation of the student in that one week what will he do he will just be running around and you know he'll be like no 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 friends no food no tv no hanging out with opposite sex no 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 wasting time He's just sitting and studying because he knows he will die if he does not study that is what saturn is saturn represents those things that we have been running away from many 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 lifetimes because it's very hard <laughs> the easiest thing to do is to run so therefore the first thing that you need to do to prepare for sade sati and this is irrespective of how your sade sati will go because how sade sati will go it will depend on the dasha that you are running so this is not something which you should do to change the results of the dasha okay that 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 that's not a very good approach to astrology trying to change things but this still so for example suppose you are in the mahadasha of a long planet okay long planet means one who planet whose mahadasha length is very long so then uh, if the antar dasha is also another very long planet so let's take the example you are in saturn mahadasha venus antar dasha or venus mahadasha mercury antar dasha no? or jupiter venus venus jupiter this kind of very long you know, rahu venus venus rahu then it could happen that the your entire one phase of sade sati which is two and a half three years passes away within one antar dasha itself no imagine it it can happen like that if you are in the mahadasha of a very long planet so therefore we are here not trying to change things okay and when i say we need to prepare it is not that uh, i am creating some fear here okay but irrespective of how your horoscope is where your dasha lord is sitting in which nakshatra irrespective of that there are things which you can do to prepare for sade sati what is that the first thing that you have to do is you have to make a list of the things that you know yourself deep down inside nobody told you no guru no scripture no mother father nobody has told you this 
just sit and ask yourself which are the areas that i have been running away consistently yes i have been doing that consistently which are those areas which 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 fine 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 so once you find then you have to ask yourself what is that which makes me run away from all this what is that what is that kya hai wo kyu bhagta hu main why 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 what is so threatening and so dangerous and so painful about that area that i always run away what is what is that why do i fear that area so much then the third thing you should do is you should ask yourself you could, you could it's very easy if you do this with a pen and a paper actually it's life saving the third thing that you must do is this is very important the third step is the most important visualize yourself after 2 and 1/2 or 5 or the entire sare sati which is 7 and 1/2 years visualize yourself what will happen visualize sit and close your eyes and visualize what will happen if i let these areas be the way they are now what will be my situation after 7 and 1/2 years if i continue to run away from all these then what will happen yes that's the third third thing that we need to do this is the most important thing unless you do this nothing will fall in place understand how miserable you will be at the end of sare sati forget sare sati what sare sati will do or not forget all this but imagine you know, suppose you are running away from your career you don't have discipline at work you are not hard working you, you 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 are not interested you don't you don't listen to your superiors what they say or you don't respect them or you don't do things on time you don't have punctuality you are using mobile when you go to office too much you know, or you are just wasting time talking to your family members during your office hours or you don't do things that are given to you even though you are efficient or but you don't put efforts so if if this is your behavior when it comes to work then imagine what will happen after 2 and 1/2 5 or 7 and 1/2 years of entire sare sati or at least 2 years imagine what will happen all your colleagues they will be moving up 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 they will be getting promotions or they may get better jobs and what will happen to you you will just sit and do nothing the way you are doing now Now that's just an example on your career front. It could be any area. It could be your health. It could be your marriage. It could be anything that you will know that your horoscope will tell. So once you visualize that, yes, I need to change this because if I don't, then my situation is going to be terrible. And everybody, irrespective of who you are, however your horoscope is. i don't care how many raj yogas you have or how many mahapurush yogas you have you will always have weaknesses and challenges like everybody including me nobody is an exception then what is the next thing that you need to do the next thing that you need to do is you should try to figure out again by sitting and meditating and taking a pen and a paper that okay acknowledge the fact that you fear something acknowledge the fact that you are running away from something and realize it is okay it's okay to run don't fear <laughs> sometimes the fear of running creates more fear actually and then you run further which creates even more fear and then you are again running and you are even more fear <clears throat> realize that it's okay to be fearful there's something which seems very tough it's okay you don't have to fear the toughness but if you still fear it's okay it's fine don't curse yourself for fearing that all right that will make you very realistic this is very important the fourth stage and the next thing the fifth thing that you need to do is you should try to see with your current situation with all these fears and some level of expertise some level of 
courage that you have in that area of your life you will obviously have some level of courage some level of control some level of dedication yes even in that area which you are responsible about but with that level of sincerity and hard work what are the steps that you can take to cover up this problem or to get to complete this issue which has been lurking in your heart from many 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 lifetimes this is not a one lifetime thing this is multiple lifetimes right so once you do this then you know yes i fear something and it's okay to fear but i will not stop i will take baby steps take one step at a time because even if you are going slowly but you are going somewhere at least right and the next thing is to the last in fact is to visualize what will happen imagine if you give your full efforts and as you know saturn always rewards those who makes hard work so imagine you make a lot of hard work and then you succeed in that area may not be to the way the world expects but at least you know that i did my best in that area and this is my best <laughs> because your best may not be the best so i repeat your best may not be the best but it's your best after all that's the best version of yourself maybe you are sitting for a competitive exam like upsc or iit jwe once upon a time <laughs> but then maybe that you struggle for 2 years 3 years but and you still don't get through it you are not able to crack the exam but then you will not have a single regret that i did not try my best life would have been different if i would have tried that regret will not be there so visualize what could happen if you finally get rid of these fears by your hard work all right so these are the things which can help you to prepare for sare sati right and as i said this is this is irrespective of your dashas or transits or whatever is there in your horoscope you can do this because doesn't matter do you have sare sati or you don't or you have a great dasha or a bad dasha or a nice dasha or not so nice dasha it doesn't matter we all have weaknesses flaws and difficulties and struggles but gradually we have to cross over them right thank you very much for your patience and if you want some help regarding your horoscope or sare sati from me then you can always go to my website down in the description section and god is there with you all the time just look to him and actually in sare sati you will already realize god is there <laughs> so many mails i get oh i was atheist i didn't believe in god i thought god is this that blah 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 but then sare sati came and now i am chanting hanuman chalisa <laughs> so thanks to shani maharaj that at least he is enlightening people i mean even if it's not the way jupiter enlightens you know jupiter is like you're nicely sitting in a very peaceful place in a very nice setting and the guru is speaking and you are listening and you are understanding you are able to grasp what he is saying but saturn always teaches lessons the hard way and unfortunately 99 not 99 100% except a few exceptions 100% people of this world only learn learn when they get kicks and beatings from saturn otherwise they do not understand what the scriptures are saying basically scriptures are saying that you are temporary your body is temporary although as a soul you are eternal but the more you identify with the body the more you will feel that you are temporary and you will lose the opportunity to connect 
with God, who is the source of all divinity. And when we lose that opportunity, then Saturn, it appears that Saturn is tormenting us. But Saturn is not tormenting us, actually. We ourselves are tormenting us, right? Thank you very much and wish you all the best for your Sade Sati. And do not panic. You will see many videos, many astrologers creating fear that, you know, Kumbhalashi Sade Sati has started, Aquarius Sade Sati started, you know, your, your, your father will die, your mother will die. They have been saying all this nonsense from time immemorial. All right, so don't believe all the lies that they speak. Thank you very much.